also the character of Agatha was born from the mind and the hands of uh, Stan Lee, but she's the first character uh, who never had a titular series run in Marvel Comics to go uh, on star in her own uh, streaming series. So she's a bit like, uh, she's like a, a, a champion of all those who have great gifts, but have yet to be discovered and given their opportunity. So I'd like to ask you, what made you say we absolutely must make her a protagonist? First, I love how you characterize that, Elena. That was lovely, and I agree. I mean, she's like all the little supporting characters out there who aren't so little. <laughs> I agree. Um, you know, I um, you know, I love her on the page, I love her in the comics, but really, she really came to life when Catherine accepted the role. Um, and she became her own kind of force of nature. So it was the combination of, you know, sort of what, what we had on the page and then Catherine bringing so much more to it that, you know, looking at a series based on Agatha, there was so much story to tell. There were so many directions we could go in. Like it was never, gosh, what is this going to be? It was sort of which thing is this going to be? Haha, <laughs> which? Um, and, and that's what you want in any story is is an abundance of material and ideas what about the um, the cgi i mean in this series uh, there's a little less cgi uh, of than what we are used to so uh, there's an authentic uh, handmade flavor so i'd like to ask you why this kind of to of choice and what was the biggest challenge um, yes, I mean, it was something that we did in WandaVision in the early episodes that were set in the 50s and, and 60s and 70s because we were so committed to that authenticity of the filmmaking practices of that era. And it was it was so wonderful that we carried it forward as, an, as a concept, you know, for Agatha. And then we knew Agatha would be witchy and it would be in this kind of fantasy space that was – you know, you know, 80s and 90s, it had that, you know, feel of, of, of those films of that time. And then also, of course, Wizard of Oz. And so it just, it felt so very right for the show. And as you say, it gives a real, like, hands-on texture to what you see. Um, I would say the most challenging part, <clears throat> excuse me, um, actually, the, the, I, it would be a spoiler to say what the most challenging part is. I think generally, um, Practical effects and practical um, sets take time, and 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 like that's the thing that you don't have in production. So securing enough lead time was the thing. Also space. Um, we we had a soundstage secured, and then as we got really into the nitty gritty of creating the road, we had to get a bigger soundstage um, because we needed them to walk the road and not do it, you know, teeny tiny steps slowly. So, so then we went to a bigger stage, which of course thrilled me because I was like, here we are, look at us. Um, so it was that, it was that kind of like, you know, anything that you do in actual 3D space you have to you have to really think it through and then I, I would also say um actor safety you know we do a lot of crazy stuff in this show beyond the first four episodes um and there were a lot of things that were unexpected to me you know growing up on movies like you know the princess bride and like the fire swamp and goonies and that kind of thing i'm like it's gonna be great and then i was like oh this is very complicated what did you take away from agatha all alone oh gosh I don't want to waste your time by hemming and hawing. Um, I, I think that I'm a witch. <laughs> I think that's what I took away, that we're all witches. Um, you know, it was, kind of, was sort of like a flippant thing, but now I just take it more seriously. And I, I, think, I think everyone has the capacity to be a witch. And I think your witchiness kind of ebbs and flows the way your sense of, like the way one's sense of self and sense of confidence and sort of when you feel grounded and in your power, you're kind of more of a witch. Um, and moments when you're more uncertain, you're kind of less of a witch. Um, yeah, I, I, th I think that's what it is, that we're all witches, and that's something to be embraced.